Okay, so I've been doing a bit of hacking again, and what I have here is an automatic compressor that I've um, built out of parts scavenged from an old blood pressure monitor. Um, this is a blood pressure monitor that I got in Lidl a good few years ago. It was a Sanitas SBM30. They're fairly common. I'm, I'm pro probably sure they're fairly common everywhere, but they're definitely common in Europe wherever Lidl sell them, and they come up in Lidl from time to time for about €20, Euros, so they're pretty cheap. Um, the blood pressure monitor itself is basically just a uh, processor which is hooked up to a compressor. Um, that compressor then fills a reservoir and that reservoir vents back into a pressure sensor um, which works out the pressures and they use the pressure sensor as well and some DSP to figure out when the systolic and diastolic pulse are happening during the measurement. Um, so basically I discarded most of the system. I only took out the pressure sensor itself um, the compressor and the solenoid vent and I put them up over here onto an Arduino now basically what this is doing at the moment is that um, bottle you see there is acting as the reservoir, the blood pressure cuff and um, the Arduino is constantly uh, sensing what pressure the system is at through the pressure sensor and a simple amplifier circuit there and as you can see here basically it runs until it, runs until it hits a threshold point and then it vents the system and starts to charge it up again with the motor. So it's keeping that um, that bottle at a constant pressure all the time. Uh, don't know why that slowed down now there, but anyway, the pressure sensor itself is an analog um, is an analog device. So basically, it has a differential output. So I used uh, LM386 just to get the signal to a bare minimum level that we could get into the Arduino. It's not calibrated, you're not going to know what PSI it is, but at least it gives you a kind of a relative measurement that lets you know how how much pressure was in the system compared to when it started. The rest of the system is managed by these two transistors back here, which act as switches for the um, for the motor and the uh, relay. Um, the entire thing is set up like this, as you can see the pressure sensor there, the op amp there, feeding into the Arduino, and there's the motor and relay there, the solenoid for the vent. Um, so if you want to, if you want to replicate this, there's a there's a rough schematic on how to do it. And again, it's it's all roughed up. I don't know how accurate things are if I'm, if things are being done properly here, but it does seem to work. So I suppose that's that's all that matters at the moment. I'll leave um, I'll leave a zip to the source code for Arduino as well in the description.